Without doubt, a sixth mass extinction event is occurring part one. No, it isn't the end of days. But we are likely living during what experts will later refer to as one of the largest extinction events in Earth's history, an unexpected addition to prehistory's big five mass extinctions. That's at least according to an international team of researchers who argue that modern history shows without any significant doubt that we are now entering the sixth great mass extinction event. There are examples of species all over the world that are essentially the walking dead. Investigator Paul Ehrlich a Bing professor of population studies in biology and a senior fellow at the Stanford Woods Institute for the Environment. Said in a statement. Extinction is every day. Mass extinction is not. Ehrlich. Who has researched mass extinction since the writing of his 1981 book. Extinction the causes and consequences of the disappearance of species. Admitted that extinction goes on all the time and is a natural part of the ever-changing world. However in five, possibly six, moments in Earth's prehistoric past, extinction became so prevalent and so widespread across the globe that it changed the course of evolution forever. For instance, about 252 million years ago. A suspected perfect storm of doomsday scenarios including disease, massive volcanic eruptions, and even new obligatory asteroid impact resulted in the extinction of 90% of all marine species and 70% of all land animals. This came to be known as the Great Dying and is the second most recognizable of the big five mass extinctions. The most recent and iconic of those five. The Great Impact. Occurred about 66 million years ago and is a better example for what characterizes a mass extinction event. This event. Which wiped the dinosaurs, and a surprising number of mammals, from the earth wound up eliminating anywhere from half to two-thirds of all known plant and animal life. Fish Surprisingly Survived to inherit the ocean Resulting in the undersea world we see today. You can read about that here. What you can see from these two examples, and the three, or four, others like it, is that a mass extinction occurs when a significant portion of plant and animal life across the entire Earth dies off over in short time period. Relative to the multi-billion year age of the Earth. Mass extinction in the modern age. To see how noteworthy the current rate of extinction around the world is. Ehrlich and his colleagues decided to look to the fossil record. Decades and decades of biological data and past species extinction studies. Past work had already revealed what they similarly found. A 2014 study published in the esteemed journal Science found that since the year 1500, more than 320 terrestrial vertebrates have become extinct. Likewise, as of the study's conclusion, 16 to 33 percent of all species were estimated to be globally threatened or endangered. Soon after, another paper published in Nature found that 41 percent of all amphibians on the planet now face extinction, while 26 percent of mammal species and 13 percent of birds are similarly threatened.